Welcome everyone to the full game of Wizard 101, episode 3. Now I am looking fabulous. <laughs> Got my new uh, wizard, well actually, level 5 stuff, not wizard city. Because, like I said, I'm not going to be having like specific things for the first world because, you know, I mean like I said, uh, I think episode 1, like you don't really get good uh, gear until you get the waterworks and stuff and it's not really worth it to stitch stuff so early on, but I think it'd be fun just to stitch stuff for Crocotopia and Marleybone and all those worlds. So I'm gonna actually grab a few mana wispeses real quick, and then we will talk to Susie uh, Griffinbane with her whole brother story. And this is Triton Avenue with all of the haunted minions. So we're gonna head around here I always like the little view that we get over here, right up here, like with all the waterfalls. We have like the four waterfalls here going down, and then like they also go up here. I always thought that was pretty cool. So what does she have to say? So glad you came. I've been trying to get someone to help me, but the guards are far too busy with all the events of late. The headmaster sent you? Great! My brother and I can use the help. We are trying to stop all the undead that broke down the gate from the haunted cave and invaded the area. My brother Arthur went on ahead to check out the haunted cave. He had a theory that the force behind all this was in that cave. I'm worried because I've not heard from him for a while. Could you go see how my brother is doing? He should be just inside the haunted cave. Maybe he's identified the dark presence responsible for Wizard City's troubles. I wouldn't expect to see him again. Anyone that goes in that haunted cave is gone forever. <laughs> you don't return. Oh, and actually, down here is where the Kraken is, but since I play around on like a somewhat of like a non-popular realm, um, there's probably not going to be any fights going on down there too much. So we're going to head over here, and we will be doing that uh, Blad Raven Eye quest that uh, we just passed eventually, probably when we finish, um, actually when we finish Wiz Wizard City, because that goes into Crab Alley. So, because we have to do that quest to get the teleporter to talk to Sahomer Sunblade to get the quest to do um, Crab Alley. And I probably should have left a, left a mark. I'll just pull one here just because. Just so I don't have to go real far. I'll have to kind of remember to start putting down marks more. Because they are very helpful. So we're going to head over here and into the haunted cave. I think it was the haunted cave that resembled death in Wizard City. Let's do it. it we says. find a broken wand just inside the haunted cave. See what I said? He's not coming back. Slowly heading back. Some cattail. You know, I I really hate those cars. <laughs> Did you find him? This is his wand. Something must have happened to him. I'll bet he was right about the haunted cave as being the source of evil. Could you talk to Duncan Grimwater? He is a death student studying the events here, trying to piece together what is going on. He's a little snobbish, but he might have a clue as to my brother's whereabouts. Can you check with him, please? Let's see what this Duncan boy has to say. With this, I mean, I really like that uh, staff that he has. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, I, do, I, I really like that staff. But what do you have to say? Merle Ambrose sent another student to help out? I guess he thinks that Susie and her brother cannot handle this situation. Well, that's what happens when you send Storm students to do a death student's job. Wait, actually, that's kind of offensive towards me. Hmm. You know, I, I could easily just push him over and into the water. Like, <laughs> there's a nice little gap there, I think. Susie says that her brother is missing? Ha! I think he is hiding back at Ravenwood. But I'll check around and see what I can find out. In the meantime, I could use some help with my field studies. I need to find out the fighting tactics of the undead. Knowing how they fight may give me some insight into how we can defeat them. I would do it myself, but... Uh... I just ran out of treasure cards. It shouldn't be too hard. Just defeat some haunted minions and rotting fodders. Report back to me afterwards. You know, I never knew he had buck teeth. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to cut here be just because, you know, fighting multiple things is kind of annoying, so I will be right back. 
Okay, so I decided not to cut right to when I finished all this. Um, just because I wanted to, you know, I wanted to cast the lightning bats, like, on camera. Like, our first cast. Just because, you know, the rotting fodders are... <clears throat> they are definitely stronger than haunted minions. And they're storm, so they will probably re resist... I cannot talk today. Resist. Um, you know, more. So, first cast. Uh, that just made me a little excited. So anyways, back to all this. Uh, I'll be right back again. Okay, so I just finished fighting all five of the Rotting Fodders and all five of the Haunted Minions. But there was one thing that I wanted to say real quick, was that, like, the reason why I... There's so much, like, so many cuts in my videos, and that's, uh... Like, the reason you see one is, uh, either one of three reasons. One... I cut out like a certain like fight thing, like as you just saw, like I was I went out to fight stuff and I'm sure no one wants to see that, so I cut that out. Two, I'm cutting out something that I said that sounded stupid. Or three, me just being completely quiet because I suck at commentary. Just wanted to get that out of the way in case anyone was wondering. Because a lot of people like to ask questions, so Let's see what Duncan has to say. You survived? I mean, that was fast. Those undead are not as tough as they seem, are they? So what did you learn? What? The undead were using storm magic? That doesn't make any sense. Where could they have learned that? Hmm... Maybe you could ask Susie what she might know about this. And tell her I'm still trying to find out what happened to her brother. Heading back up to, uh... Mrs. Griffinbane. What? Duncan needs my help? Wow, that's a first. Duncan is right. You don't normally find the undead using storm magic. Someone must have put them up to this, but who? I have seen them wearing some kind of strange medallion. Battle some rotting fodders and collect these, then take them to Duncan. Maybe he will know why the undead have them. Okay, so... Strange bedfellows. Okay, so I think for this quest, I might just, you know, fight a few to see <clears throat> if I can get lucky enough to get a storm medallion, like, early on. Because, you know, you guys haven't really seen my true lightning bat powers, you know. Because I'm a pro at this, right? So, we're just going to fight a few rotting fodders, and if I don't get it, like, on the first three fights or something, I'll skip to when I have all of them. Because I do know that this quest, I'm not sure if they changed it at all, but it used to be very difficult to get these medallions. So, we'll have to see how things go. It's also a good thing I'm not myth. Because they love using these minus 80% myth shields. I kind of feel like they, that should be like taken down a little bit, considering this is a very early on area. Oh, it's about treasure cards, I'm guessing. Um, well, we got one, so maybe this won't be too bad. So we'll just keep fighting them. I do not want to get in a fight with a Scarlet Screamer, because they're annoying. Fight another Rotting Fodder. See what challenge he puts up. Probably not one at all really but just wait to see what he does see like he's they love using these myth shields and they're pretty bad if you're a uh, myth because then like you know early on we don't have a lot of hits because you know you're a low level wizard and you know, it takes time to get your spells so it'll suck for myth not being able to hit as hard but at least they get a small boost I <gasps> that was my first fizzle on a Actually, no, it wasn't. I was about to say about that that was my first fizzle on lightning bats, but then I realized that, you know, it's me, so. I basically fizzle on everything. There we go. <clears throat> I also can't wait to get a prism for Crocotopia. I'm not sure what level I get my uh, blade either. Okay, well, these seem pretty consistent, so I'll just continue. But I need to get some health first. So we will see if the consistency continues and I get my next two medallions right after each other. Get rid of that. That. Lightning bats. I need to cast the uh, card, like the one that I get for my amulet. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I've seen it, but I haven't casted it yet. He fizzled. And I fizzled. Another pointless round. 
Let's try this again. He's probably gonna use lightning bats on me, actually. I think they know that spell. Yep. And that can be really bad. Because, <laughs> as you can see, that took half of my health. <clears throat> but then again, Storm doesn't have a lot of health. You know, Storm Wizards are low on health just because of how much damage they do. So. There we go. We'll have to build up our resistance, definitely. Yeah, these do actually seem pretty consistent. I remember these being, like, impossible when I used to play this on my Fire Wizard. So let's see if we can get one more and head back to, I think, Duncan? I think that's right. Because I think Susie wanted us to give a give the medallions to him. And then we have to do so, if, like, do things with Lumina Crystals, and I think it's interesting. <laughs> so we'll take him out with... Oh, there it is! Yeah, it is stronger. 285 versus 245, like, minimum. So that's a pretty nice... It'll be a pretty nice card to use against bosses, definitely. And... There we go. And we got it. Okay, I'm starting to question even if there's a chance anymore. Because I just got one for each fight, so... Head back, yeah. Ooh. Head back to Duncan, and then... He can use his little magic wand and figure out how to do this stuff. Actually, uh, the thing about Lumina Crystals might not actually be here. I think it's actually a future quest that we do. You collected these from the Rotting Fodders? Great! This will help me out! Where could the undead have gotten Storm Medallions? In order for me to investigate these medallions, I will need some Lumina Crystals. They store storm magic and will be affected by the medallion. To get some Lumina Crystals, you will need to go see Blad Raveneye, the miller by the falls. He runs the storm mill that produces the Lumina Crystals. I remember Blad when he had his old voice. I kind of wish they kept the old voices in this game. I don't feel like I know the people as well as I did. Because a lot of people, like obviously, I'll say it after this. You are here investigating these events with all the undead? Hoo-ha! It's about time something was done about them. They're scaring all the citizens away. You need some Lumina Crystals for your investigation? Why, I'd give you some, but my entire inventory was taken by the undead. If you can get over to the street and take back my barrels, I will gladly share them with you. Oh, yeah. This is the quest that we'll do when we start Crab Alley. But, uh, what I was saying was, they changed the voices for, it seems like a lot of more of the soldiers, like the soldier people in this place, uh, they changed the voices, like you can, you can definitely hear it, uh, with how clear it sounds, and I don't think they changed Sergeant Muldoon, I think he's still the exact same as he was, which is pretty good. Because I, I like the old voices. It helps bring back the memories of when I was very young playing this game and I had no idea what a blade even was. Because I played this game for a very long time. And it's very fun to play, but we are also now level 6. And I think our next spell is at level 7. I think, yeah. Either 7 or 8. Actually, no, we get one at 7 and 8. I think 7 is a spell quest, and 8 is a, um, I think it's like two shields, like a fire and ice shield for Storm. Yeah, I'll have to go see with Baelstrom and see if I'm right. I don't believe it. These Lumina Crystals you brought me have been drained of magic. I'll bet those undead have a way of stealing the power from them. You'd better take this crystal back to Duncan. I'm sure he'll want to see this. There's that quest again. I'm kind of afraid of what the next quest is going to be, because if I remember correctly, we have to get a charged Lumina Crystal from the Haunted Minions. So, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. The undead are able to steal magic from the Lumina Crystals? They are too dim-witted to know how to do this on their own. Someone must be helping them. We still need a charged Lumina Crystal to find the source of the Storm Medallions. Defeat Scarlet Screamers until you find a fully charged Lumina Crystal. Then return it to me so we can finish the investigation. Scarlet Screamer, apparently. Oh, that is right. It is a Scarlet Screamer. I was thinking it was a Haunted Minion for some reason. 
Well, hopefully this isn't too bad, because, <clears throat> like I said, um, the drop chances for this stuff used to be, like, horrific. <laughs> like, I would be here just for, like, like a half an hour just trying to get one thing. So let's see if our chances are good enough. And she is myth, so I'm guessing she's going to be using some storm shields, which will suck. I hope that she doesn't, but just to be safe, I'm going to kind of hit. Oh, she is, she is going in for an attack anyways. These Scarlet Screamers are a step up. Oh, and I do boost on them, so that's good. Hopefully she does not shield. I'll use my stronger lightning bats. Okay, good. I don't even know if she does shield. I'm guessing she does. Ooh. Let's see what I mean, like... This is a myth creature using an ice spell. Like, how does that make any sense? Exactly. But... Oh, wow, that's a pretty good amount. With my boost. Yeah, I didn't collect. Well, I will cut, and when I come back, we will have the charged Lumina Crystal that we need, so I will be right back. Okay, after fizzling twice, I got it right on the second one. And I left a mark there, might as well teleport to it. <laughs> It's not going to be of any use anyways, so... Well, that's good. So I guess they did raise the chance of getting it, because it just... It used to be horrible. You know, I, I've always questioned if it really was chance, or if it was like a certain amount that you had to kill. Like, secretly, like, you never knew it, it just said that you had a chance. And after you killed a certain amount, then it would say that you got it. Like, you just so happened to get it. I've always questioned that about this game, but... Maybe I'm just going crazy very slowly. You never really know. So next, after this, I think we fight the final boss of Triton Avenue. You got the crystal from the Scarlet Screamers? Great! Now we can figure out what's going on here, and especially who is behind this. These cars are insane. I'm about to just, mm-mm. You don't even want to know. Duncan waves his wand over the Lumina Crystal and the Storm Medallion. Magical electricity arcs from the medallion, and an image appears in the crystal. Of course! Go tell Susie Griffinbane that the undead on Triton Avenue are being led by the Harvest Lord, and that he has captured her brother! Okay, the Harvest Lord. He's a fire boss. My brother's been captured? We have to save him! Oh no! I'll bet that when Arthur was scouting the haunted cave, the undead kidnapped him! He's probably at the Harvest Lord's tower right now! Please, if you defeat the Harvest Lord, you'll not only save my brother, but you may stop all of the haunting on this street. Don't lie to me, Griffin Bane. You know that's not true. That's not how this game is programmed. You know they'll keep walking around. Anyways, we're just gonna head up and go to the Harvest Lord. And I, I know that he's a fire boss, and I'm pretty sure that he actually uses Sunbird, which could be devastating, devastating to my health. So hopefully, he is nice enough not to use it. But, we'll see when we get there. As I make my long flying journey over. You know, if I had a real, like, en like enchanted broom in real life, like, I'd be on this thing all day. I would sit there and do everything on it. I would get on my phone, I could watch YouTube sitting on this broom. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. I wonder if, like, if you actually had an enchanted broom, if you could just fly away. Just go up into the atmosphere and then into space and then well then you would suffocate and die so maybe that's not the best idea and this is our first sigil boss which I think yeah I already know what that is so we're gonna head in he and attack the harvest lard take him out with my finger <laughs> I won't go into detail in the back of the room, you notice Arter, Susie's brother. So, wizard, you too have uncovered Malastare's plan. Too bad you will have to remain here with the other wizard. The both of you will be powerless to stop us. Soon, the undead will drive out all the citizens and take over the rest of the city. And with the school in our hands, we will rule Wizard City. Ambrose will at last be crushed. <laughs> 
I mean, that laugh sounds pretty cool, but it looks like he peed himself over here. Maybe that's just a patch. I don't know. So we're gonna save Arter. How much health does he have, actually? 5, 10? He's a pro. I'm actually debating on if I want to hit him first. Well, no. Do I? Uh, I'll just hit the Harvest Lord, and then I'm going to use Lightning Bats on the Rotting Fodder, and then I'll heal. Maybe. Depends on how low I am on health. Because, like I said, that Sunbird can just destroy me. I kind of wish I could boost on fire. I think we... I'm pretty sure Storm boosts in the future. Like, once we get into Chrysalis. So. I want to be cautious with the moves I make. Okay, that's good, because then he won't have three pips to use uh, Sunbird. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he fizzles. No. Well, at least it's a Thunder Snake. It's not Lightning Bats. I want to be very cautious, because I don't want to die. I want my first death to be against someone who's actually worth it. <laughs> okay, so he's out. Now the Harvest Lord. Um... I'm gonna lightning strike. Just to raise my chances of not fizzling, because it'd be kind of bad to fizzle here. So use like a fire snake. Which is also good, because now he still doesn't have a chance to use his little 1 2 special spell. So we will hit him, and then I'm gonna save up for a pixie, because he's gonna hit hard at some point. I can, I can smell it in the air. Let's see how much this does. Okay. I'm really glad, like, I'm really glad that he's not using Sunbird. There we go. Like, that's probably, like, the reason why I'm still alive. Because with the health that I have right now, 305, a Sunbird would kill me. Okay, there's a Pixie. I'll hit him with another Spark, and then I'll heal. And then we can hit with Thunder Snake, and then he will be dead. That was perfect. He's just staying at like one to two pips, apparently. Archer's watching me as I save his life. I know I said before that Pixie's kind of useless early on, but I guess in these fights it is a little more useful. Mainly in boss fights, not in like fighting minions out on the street. Little creatures walking around. So we will hit with a Thunder Snake, and if we do not fizzle, he's dead. And he has enough for a sunbird. But he did not use the sunbird, so I am happy. Unless I fizzle, then he'll use the sunbird, because that's just how bosses work. Okay, good. <laughs> and there we go. It's the end of the harvest, Lord. Thank you for freeing me, my friend. I feared that no one was ever going to find me. Probably wouldn't have. Please, go and tell my sister that I am safe. I know I have worried her so. May the winds of chance bring us together once more, wizard. Don't lie to yourself, Archer. You know how the storyline goes. We never see each other again. See? He vanished. He was so sad by what I told him. <gasps> Look at that. An open book. Good thing it's not closed. That could have been devastating. Gotta head back to that... Susie. You know, where does Archer go? When he's, like, done. Over there. I'm pretty sure that if I actually went back into the sigil, he would still be there. Because, you know, that's how the game is coded, so. And I still am forgetting to, like, leave marks around, which is <laughs> kind of bad. So I'll have to remember to uh, do that more for the future episodes. Because I think next episode I want to go into Firecat Alley. And then after that we'll go into Cyclops Lane, and then... We'll be doing Colossus Boulevard and Crab Alley at some point. And then we'll do Lord Nightshade and go to Krakatapa 2, as I call it. It's a great name for it. Everyone should start calling it Krakatapa 2. <laughs> well, that was... He was, like, popped up. Everyone here is magical. Apparently. Those cattail are still there. So we're gonna go up to Susie and... See what she says. You saved Arthur from the Harvest Lord? No. Thank you, young wizard. I don't know what I would have done had I lost him. You'd better tell the headmaster what has happened here. He needs to be informed on what's happening in Wizard City. 
She just gave me the same cloak I already had. Hmm. Oh well. Well, we're gonna head up to Ambrose, and actually we're gonna level up to level 7. Which then we will get our level 7 spell quest, but we will be doing that in the next episode. So head over to the commons. Oh, Penny Dreadful. I know how your quests work. I keep lagging weirdly, it's kinda weird. So we'll see what Ambrose has to say. By Bartleby, you defeated the Harvest Lord? Oh, not many students can make that claim. Good work, young wizard. Thank you. The Harvest Lord mentioned that he was helping Malastair. We need to find out what Malastair's plans are. If Wizard City is ever to return to the nice place it once was, it's hard to run a school with all the monsters running amok. Many thanks to you for straightening everything out on Triton Avenue, young wizard. I fear the worst is not over yet. It never I is. I want you it. to introduce yourself to Diego, the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way, on the right. Well, that kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, I'll be doing this. I'll be doing the pet quest off camera, just because, you know, no one wants to see that. We, know, we all know how pets work. And then... It's time for an assignment. Please come pick it up at the school. So next episode, we will be starting off with getting our level 7 um, spell quest. And then there's Mr. Hookline, I think. Is that his name? Uh, maybe? Yeah, it is. Okay. I forgot because <laughs> I've been like so... <clears throat> um... I haven't done fishing for a while, so... Yeah, next episode we will be doing our level 7 spell quest with Halston. And we'll, we'll see what spell we get, because I haven't looked it up, I have no idea. So, let's get a nice little camera angle here. There we go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.